Hey everyone, in this video we're going to talk about calculus with parametric curves. We are specifically going to find the tangent line to a curve. So first, our formula for the first derivative, if you're given parametric equations for a curve. If all three of the derivatives below exist and the derivative of x with respect to t, as long as that's not zero, then you can say the following. You can say the derivative of y with respect to x, which is like y prime, is equal to the derivative of y with respect to t divided by the derivative of x with respect to t. So remember your um, parameter is t in this case. Very similarly, you have a formula for the second derivative. So this is just our notation for second derivative. And this is saying the second derivative of y with respect to x. Now the fine print or background statement we have to have true is that x is a function of t, y is a function of t, and they define y as twice differentiable function of x. So then as long as the derivative of x with respect to t is not zero and the first derivative is just denoted as y prime, then the following is true. So this is just our background, more so you want to focus on the equation here. This says the second derivative of y with respect to x is just the first derivative of y with respect to t divided by the derivative of x with respect to t. So let's work out this example. We're going to find an equation for the line tangent to this curve. Notice the curve is given in parametric form at a specific t value. Okay. So first of all, recall tangent, tangent lines to curves. That's the curve or the line, excuse me, um, that approximates the slope of the curve at that point. So step one is to find the slope of the curve. And the slope of the curve is going to come from the derivative. So the derivative of y with respect to x from our formula we just looked at is the derivative of y with respect to t divided by the derivative of x with respect to t. So based on our two equations right here that we were given in terms of x and y, we can find those derivatives. So we're just going to take the derivative of our y equation, divide it by the derivative of our x equation, and then go from there. So just using our straightforward power rule for derivatives, we get that dy dx is 2t over 3, or 2 thirds t. Now, we were told to find this tangent line at a specific point, a specific t value. So we need to get a number. So notice right now this is still actually a formula for our slope. So now we plug in our number, which is negative 1. So evaluate the derivative at t equals negative 1, and we get that our slope of our curve is going to be negative 2 thirds. So now we find the equation of the tangent line. And so for a tangent line, the slope of a tangent line is the slope of the curve at that point. Okay, so let me remind you, your equation of a line, so this is your point slope form of a line, and in our case, we found the slope. It was negative 2 thirds, so we just plug that right here in for m. Now, notice what we're missing. We are missing x1 and y1, so we need to find those. And in this case, they were not given, so all you do is you go back to your two equations for x and y, and you plug in your t value that was given, and then you're going to get an x comma y. Okay, so if you plug in negative 1, we get 1 is x, and then similarly, it's just a coincidence here, but y is also 1. And so the point on our curve where we're finding this tangent line is the point 1 comma 1. So we just plug that back into our equation of a line, and we simplify, and here is the slope of our tangent line. Okay, that's it for this one. We'll do more examples in coming videos.